This video was edited by Cramchi. Hello everybody, this is Seether Court here, and welcome to yet another installment of the King of the Web award-winning series, Seether Talks. Do you guys remember King of the Web? Not really? Huh. Never mind then. Anyway, today we have ourselves a topic for a video that just the title alone gives out a pretty harsh idea for this episode. And if you are either blind slash too lazy to read the title of this video yet, then I will have to tell you guys what this opinion is. Today's episode will focus on the fact that just simply having a fursuit in the furry fandom does not make you special. The reason that I bring up this topic in today's video is because when it comes to either very young impressionable furries or just simply new people who join the fandom at any age, they feel that being a part of the fandom is solely about getting a fursuit and going to conventions. A lot of this can be due to multiple different reasons. One example may include a lot of news media outlets and or TV shows and movies that when they discuss and show furries, they only show the ones in fursuits as well as always just showing them at conventions and with most of them at the time being in fursuit. So pretty much every time they show a furry, they show them in their fursuit. Another case may be with a lot of the most popular furry YouTubers on the site making vlog videos in their fursuits and always recording themselves in fursuit. Furry YouTubers on the site making vlog videos in their fursuits and always recording themselves in fursuits. You know what? So I'm done. Shit. You see this? She's making fun of us. You deserve it though. So, I believe that with these two major areas of today's media always showing off the fursuits, it makes a lot of people join the fandom with the intention of either just wanting to wear a fursuit and or feeling that they need to have a fursuit in order to feel accepted within the fandom. These two ideas, especially the latter one, is something that I see as a major problem within the fandom. I say this because I feel so bad for the furries within the fandom, be it of any age, who feel like that they won't fit in within the fandom or feel that they won't be able to really express themselves that well because they simply do not own a fursuit yet. And this might sound like a kind of far-fetched opinion on mine that I'm about to tell you guys, but it sadly is kind of true. Now listen, I'm not saying that I have a problem with fursuiters being admired and achieving their success, but I do personally feel that people will be more inclined to appreciate slash pay more attention to furries that own fursuits rather than the ones who don't. Let's take the subscriber count of a lot of furry YouTubers, for example. The majority of the most successful furry YouTubers all implement their fursuits greatly into their contents. Which again, I'm not saying I have a problem with any of these fursuit YouTubers being so popular. A lot of their content is great both with and without the fursuit implemented. So with all that being explained now, I kind of want to take a second to kind of rant on a very specific type of people within this community that I feel do put a very negative impact on the people who feel like they need to have a fursuit in order to feel appreciated. And the type of people that I'm referring to are those people that feel like they are better than everyone else because they just simply have a fursuit and that they're overall better at being a furry because they own a fursuit. Which, the latter one is something that someone actually said to me before, so be aware of that. Most of the time when I encounter people who have this kind of mentality, they typically are the type of people who have more money than most people, and or tend to have something in their life that they are insecure about, so they need to flaunt expensive, materialistic things that they have to make them feel more important and better about themselves. With a lot of these furries feeling like they need their fursuit to feel more important and show them off, it reminds me a lot of the people who drive big fancy cars and SUVs and show them off to their friends because they're insecure about their small penis. Oh god. Overall, my final stance on the whole matter is that just because you're a fursuiter doesn't make you a more desirable person within the fandom. There are many other roles that anybody can take to be a part of this fandom. A couple of examples that I can include are being an artist, or being a furry fandom photographer, or being a furry figurine sculptor, or making specific furry fandom related foods or treats and selling them at conventions. Heck, you don't even have to do that much to be valuable to the fandom. You can just simply attend furry conventions or fur meets. Anything really counts as long as you want to be a part of the fandom at the end of the day. So to all of my young, fursuit desperate new members of the furry fandom, know that you guys are doing your best just by being yourselves. 
And that to me matters way more than just doing a specific thing that many people plus the media make you out to believe that you have to do to be a part of a specific group of people. So that pretty much wraps up this episode of Seether Talks for today. This was kind of an interesting one for me personally. Didn't really expect myself to go that deep into something like that before. I don't think I've really done that before, honestly. Or at least it's been a while since I made a video that deep. How do you guys feel about needing a fursuit to be important in the fandom? Do you feel like you need one to be a part of the fandom? Do you feel like you don't need one to be a part of the fandom? Do you think that people who wear fursuits are more valuable? Do you feel like artists are more valuable to the fandom than people that don't do those things? Let me know down in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed my content and want to further help out my channel, please consider donating to my Patreon page, hitting that like button, turning on that notification bell, and subscribing altogether. I've been Seether Cord, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. And we beat it. Sweet. 8,060 points. Cool. We're about to get a new high score. Awesome. This cutscene's always really funny to me, especially when I play at the arcade. I remember playing at the arcade as a kid and it was fun. He's <laughs> so big and he's small. It's funny. Oh shit, <laughs> my god I almost knocked that over.